His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the 42nd edition of the Bahrain Fine Arts Exhibition at the Bahrain National Museum. In the presence of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities President, Sheikh Hamey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Not members of a number of ministers, MPs, senior state officials, diplomat, press, media and business figures, as well as intellectuals, artists and supporters of Bahrain's fine art movement. His Royal Highness attributed the continued renewal and evolution of the kingdom's cultural and artistic movement to the creativity of successive generations of talented artists, saying Bahraini artists had been inspired by the works of pioneering Bahraini artists to create a unique Bahraini art style that blends tradition and modernity, a harmony that reflects Bahrain's civilization and progress. His Royal Highness said the Bahrain fine art movement has achieved further progress locally and internationally, and artists are keen to participate because of its good reputation and organization. His Royal Highness toured the exhibition and was briefed on the paintings and artistic works, which number 87 pieces of art and represent various schools of art. He praised and admired the Bahraini artist's work, experience and creative techniques, noting that this year's exhibition had retained its glamour and showcased the creativity of Bahraini artists. His Royal Highness expressed his admiration of the exhibition, saying it was on par with its international counterparts and has become an annual occasion for artists to take part in. He affirmed the government's support for cultural and artistic activities and its care for gifted artists based on its belief in the importance of culture and art and the message it carries in expressing the advancement of societies. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of investing in art and culture in order to achieve further progress and called on artists to use their talent to enhance peace coexistence in the face of terrorism. He praised the work of the Bahraini artist, which represents various modern and contemporary fine arts schools, saying that Bahrain's annual fine arts expo would remain a milestone in the progression of Bahraini art and expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Hameh and all the authority's staff for their efforts in preparing and organizing the exhibition. Sheikh Hameh extended sincere thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for patronizing the exhibition since its inception, noting His Royal Highness's kind gesture to support artists, which reflects the kingdom's pride in their artistic works and creativity. She said this year's exhibition is being held under the slogan, Bahrain is your destination, and provides an opportunity to create a sustainable development in Bahrain that enhances the cultural infrastructure. Honorary President of the Bahrain Arts Society, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalid Al -Khalif, bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continuous support and said that the noticeable progress would not have been achieved if it hadn't been for that support. The names of the competition winners were announced during the exhibition.
His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, patronised the laying of the foundation stone of the Muharraq Model Youth Centre in the presence of a number of senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keenness in further developing the youth and sports sector in the kingdom through establishing youth centres that provide various facilities for youths. His Highness noted the government's keenness to activate the role of youths on both national and developmental levels and affirmed the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports' keenness to establish well-equipped youth centres in cooperation with the Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs, aiming to attract youths and develop their skills. Deputised by His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organisation, the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, attended the World Giving Index 2015 ceremony organized by the RCO. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion of ranking the kingdom as the first GCC in Arab country and the 13th internationally, according to the World Giving Index 2015. His Highness said that this achievement reflects Bahrain's remarkable efforts in providing humanitarian assistance to different countries, as well as for the Kingdom's initiatives in supporting countries that suffer from wars and natural disasters. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his constant keenness in providing humanitarian assistance to different countries and hailed Bahrain's leadership support to the RCO. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the Kingdom's achievement and hailed the remarkable efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in supporting the field of humanitarian aid. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also honoured members of the Board of Trustees and staff of the RCO.
The highly anticipated 2016 Bahrain International Air Show opens tomorrow at Sakhir Air Base. More details in this report from Danielle de Porto. The fourth biennial Bahrain International Air Show, BIAS 2016, opens tomorrow at Sakhir Air Base for a three day run under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. It has been organized under the direction of the BIAS Supreme Organizing Committee, chaired by personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, by the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Royal Bahraini Air Force, and Farnborough International. Meanwhile, over 20 military chiefs and senior government officials gathered today ahead of the air show for the Manama Air Power Symposium. The prestigious Bahrain International Air Show centers on business dealings amongst civil and military aviation organizations and features myriad networking opportunities, exhibitions, trade shows, entertainment and live performances. Additionally, this year, a hosted buyer program will be introduced and the International Air Transport Association, IATA, will be holding a special seminar regarding its new standard safety assessment program. Participation in this year's air show is up 30% from 2014, with 128 companies representing 34 countries involved, and the feature pavilion will be 47% larger than the last edition. Highlights of this year's air show include the commemoration of 200 years of official British Bahraini relations, the 40th anniversary of the first Concorde flight to Bahrain, the display of around 100 assorted aircraft and acrobatic helicopter and special forces parachute display teams from Bahrain and around the world. Additionally, there will be extensive entertainment for families, including a heritage village, flight simulators and aerial shows. All safety preparations have been thoroughly addressed over the past several months, with the collaboration of virtually all police and military branches and the Ministry of Interior to ensure the security and enjoyment of all participants and stakeholders. Bahrain is widely regarded as the historical centre of aviation in the Gulf. The Kingdom launched the region's first international carrier, Gulf Air, and was the first to open an international airport. With this esteemed reputation boosted by each edition of the air show, BIAS 2016 promises to deliver on many fronts for many organizations, from Bahrain, the region and the world. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. A very good evening. You're watching the business and news on Bahrain Television. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,168.59 points, a decrease of 7.17 points below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks, services, industrial, hotels, and tourism sectors, and investors traded mainly in the services sector with 70% of total shares. 28 transactions included a volume of 999,609 shares worth 160,370 Bahraini dinars. Thank you.